Good evening, friends. I'm Elizabeth Bowell. Greg has the night off. We start tonight with that chemical fire at the Chevron plant in Geismar. Two people were hurt, including one worker who is in bad shape tonight inside the Baton Rouge General Burn Unit. Elizabeth Bourgeois explains how the burn unit and the plant stay ready for emergencies, just like what we saw today. Lizzie. Yeah, hospital officials tell me they are always training and preparing for emergencies like today. Two people are injured. One is in serious condition after a fire broke out at a chemical plant in Geismer. The incident happened at the Chevron REG facility on Highway 30. There was a fire this morning at the facility around 8, 845 this morning. Um, it was it was quickly, the local authorities were quickly notified. Uh, the, the responders in this area are amazing, great partners. They came out quickly. Uh, we were able to contain the fire. The fire happened in the Geismer Train A plant where they make renewable diesel. Officials say they are now investigating how it started and the safety of workers going forward. Working through our emergency response process, really making sure that our people are safe is the first priority, making sure that the environment is safe is critical for us. According to hospital officials, the two employees were taken by Air Med to the Baton Rouge General Burn Unit on Blue Bonnet. One of the workers is in serious condition with what's considered a 15% burn. The other has what they call a 2% burn and should be released later today. A patient with 15% burns is, is significant to that patient. And so as we get them in, we are quickly trying to um, provide care for them, make them comfortable, and get them um, into the appropriate bed. Allison Hughes with Baton Rouge General tells us they prepare year round for accidents that can happen at chemical plants. We have a specialized team for hazardous materials response. Um, that team actually undergoes an eight hour FEMA course. Um, it's called hospital emergency response team training. Um, and so we practice for um, incidents that it would involve hazardous materials or chemical contamination. Officials with Chevron tell us safety is their top priority. We have our emergency response plans in place. Uh, and really working on executing that. Um, and, and then we, we make additional calls once we get past that period. Again, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. We will update you as we learn more. Liz. All right, Elizabeth, thank you. Folks in West Baton Rouge Parish, you're urged